guys, it's Misty from the Joy Fit Off. Welcome back to day two of my 25 Days of Christmas holiday card series. I mentioned on Monday, which was day one, that I was gonna show you how to use some of these stamp sets in a couple ways to create different looks and kind of stretch your stamp. So this is the card that we made on Monday. Really, really pretty, but very much non-traditional, maybe like a mid-century modern feel with a color palette. And today we're gonna to do a very traditional, very elegant looking, where this was just a little bit more playful. So we're still gonna be using the Flurry which is stamp set. I'm not using the punches this time. We're gonna make um, almost a one layer card. It is gonna be um, a monochromatic card and I hope that you really enjoy. So let's get started. So for my card base, I have a piece of real red, cut at four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. I'm really into top voting cards as you may have noticed. <laughs> and I love this. We are gonna go ahead and stamp the same sentiment that we used in day one and it's sending you a flurry of warm winter wishes. And I have an inside card base of Whisper White that measures four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in that foam pad that you saw me use on Monday, just because you get such a crisper image when doing that. And I'm gonna bring in my Real Red and I have my um, stamp and Scrub ready to go. I've already got it um, wet and waiting for me. That way I can clean this immediately when I'm done so I don't run the risk of getting red ink everywhere because even though I took many precautions, you guys saw that I had a little smudge of red ink in my first video. So don't forget to make sure that you um, write down the word that will pop up on the screen sometime during this video. Keep track of those. And also don't forget that Stampin' Up! is having a 25, oh, 25, I wish, a 15% off sale this week on all of their stamps. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry that you missed it. <laughs> But if you're watching this the week of October 19th, 2015, make sure you use the hostess code if you don't spend over $150 and you'll be entered in to win a special prize. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this with just some snail. All the supplies will be linked in the description box below. So you don't have to worry about trying to find everything all over the place. And that'll take you straight to my shop Look, I did it again. What the heck? What the heck? I like thought I had no red on my hands. Um, how are we gonna cover that, Misty? I have this extra piece just in case. Let's do. Punch a snowflake. I hate that. So as you can see, even though I did my best not to screw up, I still screw up. That's okay. That's the life of a crafter. It's a mad, mad world out here. And I actually cut an extra piece of Whisper White because I probably do. I'd screw up. So <laughs> I figured I would probably screw up. That's what happens when you craft a while. You start to know yourself. And it's just inevitable when I use red. I'm going to make a mess. So, but it's all right. Okay, so we're going to be doing some heat embossing. If you're new to crafting, nothing gives you more wow for your buck than heat embossing. So what you're going to need is you need an embossing ink. I'm using Versamark, and this is a watermark ink. It's a clear, sticky ink. Several different companies make um, this brand. This is the one that Stampin' Up! sells. This is fantastic. You need some sort of pigment ink that's not gonna dry quickly. And I'm using Versamark because I'm doing a tone on tone, kind of like a monochromatic card. So I'm gonna bring in my card base. 
I'm gonna bring in my mat. I'm gonna bring in all of my snowflakes. I've got the biggest one. I may, am I gonna leave these? We'll see how this goes. And I'm actually gonna bring in a scratch sheet of just regular paper because I don't wanna get anything on this mat. I don't want any ink that my smear. Okay, so you're gonna need a heat tool. This is the one I have, this is from Stampin' Up. I love this one because it has two settings. It's really worth the money. Um, it's a great tool, a great investment. I was using the ones from the craft store and I replaced three um, within like a year and I have had this oh, almost a year and I, I don't see any signs of having to replace it. And then you're gonna need an anti-static remover. This is the embossing buddy from Stamping Up. What this has is some kind of, it has like a talcum powder. You could also use like a, um, a dryer sheet. You just need something that will take away the static because you don't want your powder sticking to where you don't want it to stick. So, and don't worry, it's gonna look crazy, but it'll be all right. <laughs> And finally, you're gonna need some kind of embossing powder. Since I want more of a monochromatic look, I'm using the Iridescent Ice Embossing Powder from Stampin' Up. This is like a clear glitter. You guys can see the glitter in that, I hope. It's so pretty, and it looks super pretty on a card. So, and this piece of paper underneath will also help me um, collect the embossing powder that has fallen. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm trying to get this straight so I can, who am I kidding? This is, I'm gonna stamp crooked, but it's nice to pretend. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to be random about my placement of my snowflakes, but who knows what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do some starting off the page. And that didn't stamp all the way. Of course it didn't. <sighs> it's my fault, I didn't hold it down hard enough. So where did I do with that embossing buddy? And I may need to re-ink this for some art pad. We'll see how we do. This looks very crooked on camera and very straight in front of me. <laughs> so either my camera or something is crooked. I don't think it's me. Normally it would be me. Let me make sure I get this really inked up. If you remember from Monday's video, I had the same issue with this exact same stamp. Oh, I got embossing powder all over my nail. Better, not perfect, but better. We'll go with that and then We want an odd amount of snowflakes because your eye is drawn to an odd number. And I'm going to go ahead and ink these up even though I probably should have wiped the ink pad off. but or inked off, but that's all right. Live a knife on the edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one more small one. I feel like we need this 
will be seven, so this will work. <laughs> it's sticking! There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side and let's bring in our embossing powder. You're probably going, why is it blowing everywhere? Because I'm a dodo bird and I'm a fan on. Look at that, so sparkly! There are a couple areas where the embossing powder is sticking where I didn't want it to, but that's all right. I'm gonna pull a paintbrush over. Glitter, glitter everywhere! that that little bitty spot I have a VersaFine pen but I'm afraid yeah we're gonna leave it like that I'm afraid that it would make an even bigger mess Ooh. glitter glitter everywhere the good thing is I no longer have carpeting in this craft room. Unlike when I was doing my Christmas ornaments, I had probably 400 pounds of glitter in my carpets, and now I don't have carpet, so I don't have to worry about it. So let me clean this off, get this in the trash. And if you're mass producing these cards, which you totally could, the rule of thumb is to do each step at one time, and we're actually gonna be doing a card or a set of cards um, later in this card series where I show you some tips and tricks to uh, mass producing. So I'm gonna heat this with my heat tool and I will come back and show you the next step. Isn't that so pretty? Some of it didn't melt all the way. It's so sparkly! <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool down for just a minute and I'm gonna bring in this silver 1 8 inch ribbon. I'm gonna add a little bit of ribbon to the front of this card, but otherwise we're gonna keep it really, really simple. You saw me heat it from the back and that's kind of to help with, war you know what, I like it this way. And then that, yeah, cause it looks like they're getting bigger as they come into, yas, yas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. So I 
um, am the worst bow tire on the planet. And I'm gonna go ahead and write, you don't have to wrap this around the entire thing, but. What did I do with my scissors? Where did they go? What did I do with my scissors? I just don't know. <sighs> really? I just had them. Chase out wags. There they are. <laughs> I'm like, we're two cards in. My desk is not that messy yet. Seriously. Okay. All right, let's see how I do. Are they both, the, oh good, it's the same, the same on each side. That makes my life so much easier. What you can do is use a glue dot or something to hold your... I'm gonna fast forward through this because I, I am seriously sucked at bow tying. You guys who have followed me for a while know this. I don't think you need <laughs> to be subjected to my horrible bow tying. I'm guessing it's 16 minutes in. It'll probably take me to 32 minutes to get this bow tied. It's just an estimate. Okay guys, you know what they say? If you can't do it, fake it till you make it. <laughs> we gonna fake this. We's going to fake this, for sure. Gonna put some snail down. Snail down. And I'm gonna find where I want this to go. Well, I'm not a pumpkin eater. I talked about that the other day. I like a pumpkin roll, and that is end of my pumpkin enjoyment. Okay. All right, we're cooking with gas. Now, I'm gonna bring in some glue dots. I'm gonna go ahead and round these corners with my We Are Memory Keepers quarter rounder punch. I'm gonna use the half inch side. Just slip it in. Not like that. Seriously, Misty. Like that. Ooh, do I want to do all four sides? Maybe I'll just do the top one. The top two. Yeah, I actually really like that a lot. Okay, are you gonna? All right, let's bring in our card base. I'm gonna put dimensional adhesive on the back of this to give it some dimension. You guys know me, um, and if you don't, you should know that I am not afraid of adhesive, especially on Christmas cards that are gonna go through the mail. 
Um, you could have these hand, oh, what's it called? Not hand stamped, what are they called? Where they run them through by hand instead of sending them through the machine. It costs extra, but if you put all this time into these cards, it may be something that you wanna do. But that means going to the post office, and who likes to go to the post office during the holidays? Not I, said the fly. <laughs> Ugh. Last year, we I didn't want to deal with the post office so much. I got a um, UPS box for packages and stuff because I just was like, nope, don't want to do it. Don't want to mess with it. Okay, so let me... I love this, but that's way off. Oops. Come on now. Don't give me the blues. Now, let's tie a bow. And I'm gonna slide a dimensional. So I'm just putting it on my, my stickers, my scissors. Because there's this gap right here. There we go. Okay, so now I can just tie a legit bow. Maybe. I'm gonna give it an honest try. You guys are gonna be subjected to a lot of singing. Sorry. I'm home by myself. My brother is in Oklahoma. My husband is bowling. Nobody to entertain me but you guys and you don't say anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys leave great comments. But you're not in here with me saying anything. We need you guys right here. I need to figure out how to do a Dagum live stream. I keep threatening it. That would be so much fun. I am not periscoping. I just, I don't like periscope um because i i would rather like be able to do a chat box with you guys and plus so many people are doing it now i feel it's so fo, such a faux pas no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm totally kidding please don't take me seriously i know a lot of crafters are doing it but i don't know i just don't i just don't like the video quality of my iphone that's what it really comes down to. I think it could be some, you know, and I almost went with the Samsung Note or Edge or because of the amazing video and um, photography, like photo quality of that phone. But like I have a Mac at home and it just makes sense to you know, have, okay, this side is moving around. It just makes sense to have everything kind of together, so. I'm a slave to the brand, who are we kidding? Actually, I'm not, it took me forever, I guess. I, I think I had, I got a six, a four S, so, or was it a five? <laughs> no, I had Surrey, so whenever Surrey was born, is when I got my very first iPhone. So, and Rob still doesn't have a smartphone. He refuses to get one. 
So. All right, I'm calling this done. Look how pretty, let me, let me clean this off a little bit so you can see how pretty it really is. All this in the way. Such a fun, well not really fun, but an elegant monochromatic look. I love it. You know, if this wasn't supposed to be a traditional one, it would be purple. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to write down the word that you saw pop up on the screen. Keep track of all 25 of those for your opportunity to win great prizes at the end of this holiday card series. Make sure you check out the 15% off stamp sale from Stampin' Up. Um, unfortunately, I can only sell to US residents, but if you are internationally, make sure you go to the Stampin' Up website and search for an international demonstrator that can help you out. Um, if you're interested in planner stickers, make sure you check those out. Thank you guys so much. Make sure if you are going to place an order that you use the hostess code that's in the description box below. Only if your order is under $150 before shipping and handling. If you spend more than $150 um, before shipping and handling, you get your own reward. You get a certain percentage of your order back in dollars that you get to spend for Stampin' Up. So yeah, thanks so much guys. I will see you Friday for day three. Bye for now.